Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. Let's speak Arabic by Hiba Bunyaj. In this lesson, you will learn some words about the weather and you will learn how to talk about the weather. Let's get started. Falnabda. The weather in Arabic is Attaqs. A taqs. Attaqs. Attaqs means the weather, while a weather is tax. So you have tax, a weather, and attax, the weather. Today, al yawm. Al yawm. Al yawm is today. Ghadan. Ghadan. Ghadan means tomorrow. Ghadan. Sunny. Mush miss. Mush miss. Mush miss is sunny. Rainy. Matter. 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 Cloudy. Ghaim. 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 Cold. Barid. 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 Hot is har har hot means har so the words are attax al yawm ghadan mushmis matar ghaim Barid and har. Now, how to say cold weather in Arabic? Cold is barid and weather is tax. In English, the adjective or the descriptive word comes before the noun, while in Arabic, the descriptive word comes after the noun it describes. So, what do you think? How we say cold weather? It is tox barid. Tox barid. Tox, which is the noun, comes first. Then barid, which is the adjective or the descriptive word, comes after the noun in Arabic. Tox barid. And this tox barid. It is a phrase formed of noun and adjective. We need to change this phrase into sentence, which is, the weather is cold. It is very simple to make it a sentence. Look how. Tux barid is a phrase. A tux by adding L to the word tux, a tux barid. This becomes a sentence. So here we have tox barid, its phrase, noun, and adjective. A tox barid by adding l to the word tox. These two words we consider them as a sentence, and it means the weather is cold. So, as a rule, when you combine a definite noun with an indefinite adjective, the combination produces an is are sentence. You can test yourself how to say hot weather. Think about it. So, remember that the adjective in Arabic comes after the noun. Hot, har, weather, talks. How to say it? So it is tox har. Tox har means hot weather and it is a phrase. How we change tox har or hot weather into a sentence? The weather is hot. How we change that phrase into a sentence? So the answer is by adding L to the word tox, it becomes a and this is a sentence. Remember, combine a definite noun with an indefinite adjective. That combination produces 
is our sentence. And remember again, the adjectives in Arabic comes after the noun. Okay, now let's talk more about the weather. We can use uh, these words الطقس, الطقس, اليوم, غدا, مشمس, ماطر, غائم, بارد, حار to talk about the weather and we can say It's a sunny day, isn't it? And it is in Arabic يوم مشمس أليس كذلك? So, يوم is day مشمس sunny isn't it أليس كذلك so the whole sentence is يوم مشمس أليس كذلك أليس كذلك كذلك يوم مشمس أليس كذلك or you can say it's a rainy day isn't it يوم ماطر أليس كذلك؟ يوم is day ماطر rainy isn't it أليس كذلك؟ يوم ماطر أليس كذلك؟ Now you can test yourself We have here three sentences about the weather they are all in English. You have to translate them into Arabic. The first one is It's a hot day, isn't it? I will give you a few seconds to think then say after I will say the correct answer. So the answer is يوم حار أليس كذلك? The second sentence It's a cold day, isn't it? The answer is يوم بارد أليس كذلك The third and the last sentence It is a cloudy day, isn't it? The translation is يوم غائم أليس كذلك All right, let's carry on with more words about the weather. Temperature is Harara. 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 Harara means temperature. Hi. Murtafa. 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 Murtafa means high. Low. Munhafid. Mun kha fid mun khafid. So temperature harara high murtafa low mun khafid. How to say high temperature? It is in Arabic harara murtafia harara which is temperature mur. Tafi'ah high. Harara murtafi'ah noun and then the adjective. Now you all you will ask me why we said murtafi'ah not murtafi'ah. The answer for this question is in Arabic an adjective must be in agreement with the noun it modifies in gender and plurality. So I will give you more explanation about it. Harara ends with tamar buta. Here. This is the tamar buta. So harara ends with tamar buta. It is a feminine word. So the adjective should be feminine as well and ends with tamar buta. For that reason, we add tamar buta for the word murtafi to make it murtafi'a, to make it feminine, to be with agreement with the word harara which is the feminine one al harara murtafi'a it's a high temperature i have a question now can you change this phrase into a sentence the sentence in english the temperature is high 
how we say it in Arabic. Think, answer, then I will say my answer. The answer is Al Harara Murtafia. By adding L to the first word Harara, Al Harara Murtafia. Let's carry on. We have low temperature. Low temperature is Harara Munhafida. Harara Munhafida. So both the noun which is harara, and the adjective, which is munhafida, ends with tamarbuta, and both are feminine. And again, remember that the adjective, if the adjective is feminine, uh, sorry, if the noun is feminine, the adjective should be feminine. If the noun is masculine, the adjective should be masculine. How to know the feminine word? In general, the feminine word ends with tamarbuta. Another question about it, how we change harara munkhafida, that phrase into a sentence, the temperature is low. The answer is al harara munkhafida means the temperature is low and it is a sentence. Now, if you are talking about the degrees, if you want to say it's the number degrees in Arabic, Al Harara, then you will insert the number, then you will say Daraja. So first you start with the word Al Harara, then you will say the number, after that you will say Daraja. Al Harara, number Daraja. More words about the weather we have thunder is rad 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 is thunder lightning is barq 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 so rad thunder barq lightning clouds ghuyum ghuyum Ruyum. Ruyum means clouds. Snow. Thelj. 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 Thelj is snow. Wind. Riyah. Ri. Ya. Riyah. Riyah. Wind. Storm. عاصفة 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 humidity رطوبة 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 rainbow قوس قزح قوس قزح قوس قزح is rainbow قوس and so the words are Rad Barq Ruyum Thelj Riyah Asifa Rutuba Kaus Kuzah. Now, we can talk more about the weather. It's an interesting topic. And we can ask, how's the weather tomorrow? You can say it in Arabic. Kaifa, which is how. Attaqs, the weather. Tomorrow is Ghadan. So the question is, Kaifa attaqs Ghadan? Kaifa attaqs Ghadan? كيف الطقس غدا؟ And you can talk more about the weather by asking that question. Will there be? And here we have two forms of will there be. One is masculine and the other is feminine. The masculine one هل سيكون هل سيكون 
هل سيكون is the masculine version of will there be the feminine version هل ستكون هل ستكون هل ستكون so here we have هل سيكون or هل ستكون if you are asking about a masculine word you will use هل سيكون while if you are asking about a feminine word you will use هل ستكون just a reminder the feminine word usually ends with تا مربوطة this is the way how you will know it is if it is feminine or masculine if we have that question will there be rain tomorrow starting with the for, with that word rain rain is matar matar doesn't end with uh so it is a masculine word so we will use هل سيكون the question هل سيكون مطر غدا I will explain it again will there be هل سيكون we use that version هل سيكون because rain which is مطر it is a masculine word doesn't end with تامر بوطة and tomorrow is غدا so the whole question is هل سيكون مطر غدا؟ Now, can you translate this question into Arabic? Will there be snow tomorrow? So start with the snow. Snow is ثلج. It is a masculine word. So you are going to use the first one. هل سيكون؟ And the question is هل سيكون ثلج غدا؟ The second sentence. Can you say, will there be thunder today? Think about it. So the answer is هل سيكون رعد اليوم؟ هل سيكون رعد اليوم؟ The third and the last sentence for the translation will there be storm today so the translation for this question هل ستكون عاصفة اليوم so storm is عاصفة ends with تا it is a feminine word so we have used that version هل ستكون هل ستكون عاصفة اليوم Okay, that's all about this lesson and about the weather and how to talk about the weather. Actually, there are different ways to talk about it and just keep on practicing. Thank you for watching. Shukran للمتابعة. Be ready for the next lesson and مع السلامة.